Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 26010 for the version 23H2, of course. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel. This is quite an interesting build, so stay tuned for that. But before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by Tenorshare for DDIG Data Recovery. With this software, you can recover lost or deleted data from locations such as recycle bin, local disk, external hard drive, crash computer, and more. You also have free advanced data recovery, which supports 2000 plus file types and various storage devices. The software also supports NAS and you can easily search and scan deleted photos, documents, and videos from NAS storages. You can also repair photos or videos that are unopenable or unplayable using some special tools. Make sure to check out Tenorshare for DDAG data recovery from the links in the description below. Let's continue with the video. First of all, Microsoft updated the widget settings experience providing more ways for users to customize their widgets board experience one of the new settings enables you to just show widgets on your widgets board and another makes it easier for you to discover how to personalize your feed content you can also select the account you want to use for your microsoft start power widgets and feeds but you need to keep in mind that this is slowly rolling out as you can see i don't have it on this machine yet but if you have it i think this is a pretty interesting new thing that was changed by microsoft regarding the widgets board also the tips app is removed after updating to build it 26002 and higher, and the Tips apps is deprecated. Regarding Windows Copilot, Microsoft is trying out the ability to undock Copilot with Windows Insiders. Just click the new icon to unpin the Copilot panel on the top right of the header. While undocked, Copilot can appear above or below other apps in Windows while maintaining its fixed position on the desktop. This allows users to access Copilot while minimizing disruption to other user activities. Additionally, you can resize the Copilot window for a more comfortable experience. Simply click and drag the edge of the Copilot window to adjust the with your needs. As I've said before, I also don't have Copilot enabled on this machine, so you're just gonna see a screenshot from the official Microsoft blog. But I think this is pretty interesting that we will be able to resize and also move Copilot from the right side, maybe we want it on the left side. Regarding quick settings, Microsoft is starting to roll out again a new quick settings experience with some refinements. As you can see now, we have a new scrolling view, which is far more fluent and polished, so I think this is looking pretty nice. You can also rearrange icons by clicking and holding and of course dragging in the location where you want to put it. I think this is also really, really nice and Microsoft has done a really good job improving the quick settings in Windows 11. As you can see, it is really, really simple to rearrange items here, also scroll. I think everything is pretty nicely done with nice animations and everything. Also, the task manager now has the Mica material, which is pretty nice. This is also a new thing that was added in the latest build, 26010. They also have the new optional features page or section that was created by Microsoft to get all the optional features from inside settings and apps and put them in inside their own section extra functionality for your device and here you're going to have all the optional features that are available or are installed on your system microsoft is also doing some changes to windows server preview for those of you who are using windows server basically microsoft is introducing the ability to receive server flights just like on client desktop to set up flying on server just navigate to settings windows update and then windows insider to opt in your device flighting will only be available for the canary channel and flights for server will begin in early 2020 so you won't receive any new builds until then. I think this is also pretty nice for server users. We also have a new notepad update and to get that just open up the Microsoft Store, go inside library and then click on get updates and install all the latest updates. Also click on update all. You're going to see that we have a new Windows notepad update which brings in a few interesting new additions and I think they're pretty useful. We're going to talk about them just in a minute after notepad is updated. First of all now in notepad we have the character count. You can keep track of your documents length with the new character count display in the status bar below here as you can see when text is selected the status bar shows the character count for both the selected text and the entire document i think that is pretty nice if no text is selected the character count for the entire document is displayed ensuring you always have a clear view of your document's length also microsoft is adding the new edit in notepad button with files so basically you can easily access notepad for file modifications directly from the file explorer just right click on any file or multiple files in file explorer to find the edit with notepad option in the context menu a quick and streamlined way to open and edit files in Notepad. And we also have a new Microsoft Store update, which has a few features. For example, install as you browse. You can now install directly while browsing. Simply browse through the Microsoft Store's home apps or games pages and hover over a product and click on the install button. There are now fewer clicks to dive into apps. As you can see, if I hover over an app, this pop-up comes here and I can install the app while still browsing in the Microsoft Store. Also, Microsoft is making instant games easier to discover and you're going to notice a dedicated page for that 
inside the file explorer microsoft also improved the performance while browsing inside the microsoft store which makes it smoother for you to browse and scroll through various pages now let's talk about a few fixes related to settings microsoft fixed an issue which was causing the restart button to be missing in settings windows update or for that setting space to not load at all with the previous slide if you're on the build 26002 and encounter this trying to upgrade to build 26010 you can reboot by clicking the windows update icon in the system tray or open start and reboot from the power button there microsoft also fixed an issue where attempting to rebooting into safe mode would hang on the boot logo also fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience an increase in bug checks in the last two flights they also fixed the high hitting task host w.exe crash in the last flight which some insiders were seeing on their pcs made some improvements to help address an issue where the background could be seen jumping when switching between desktops and they also fixed an issue which was causing file explorer to revert to the previous design and opening the context menu to crash explorer.exe for some insiders we also have a few known issues for example microsoft is investigating an issue where keyboard shortcuts are not working on the desktop including using the delete key to delete files off of your desktop control key combos to take action on desktop icons or using alt plus f4 on the desktop to open the shutdown dialog as a workaround for the former please use the desktop folder within file explorer i've also encountered this microsoft is also investigating an issue where opening the print key is showing a message saying it can't find the app and microsoft is also aware of the issues with winre windows recovery environment not rendering correctly a fix is coming in a future flight we also have a few known issues regarding the widget section and also some settings pages having incorrect spacing and fonts but you can find everything listed in the article below if you're interested to see an in-depth view of all the fixes and also all the known issues in this latest windows 11 insider preview build for the canary channel so basically this was the build for today i hope you liked the video it was quite an interesting one so if you have any questions or any comments you can leave them below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the techbase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Emmanuel from techbase until next time have a nice day